Hey guys, it's Bobby from MB Gamers, back with another episode of Final Fantasy A Realm Reborn. And we're going to continue on the main story quest, so let's talk to Sid for our next quest. Lady of the Vortex. With Sid, Sid's modifications now installed, the Enterprise is finally ready to make the journey to the Howling Eye. According to my tests, the device is now functioning in perfect harmony with the crystal, meaning we can leave with whenever you're ready. But you must understand, tests can only tell so, m tell one so much. Until we approach the Hollow Knight, until we attempt to breach the barrier itself, I cannot be sure that this this will work. I think it's only fair to tell you that there is a small but statistical significant chance that the crystal would trigger a massive mm, mayhap is better if we that we remain positive Violet I would want to thank you for uniting me with my ship for trusting me in to develop this plan for everything you helped me to recover a part of myself I'd forgotten I am not the man I once was and I do not know if I'll ever shall be but I do know one thing this feels right. My apologies for the sudden outpour of sentiment. I would have waited until after the mission, but well, you understand. Okay. <sighs> there. She's ready. To Curthus and an audience with the Harpy Queen Garuda. Enterprise, engage. Can never get used to his voice. flew in this airship and I was not alone there were adventurers on board adventurers like you Just how long have I worn these damn goggles? Ah, <laughs> yes. I fancied myself a trendsetter in my younger days. The young prodigy, admired by all, exactly like his father. Born and raised in Garlemald.
It was only natural that the precocious young student should become an engineer. Had his father not done the same? Father, when did we stop seeing eye to eye? When did Meteor become your everything, and your loved ones cease to matter? You abandoned us all, but he was there for me, father. There for me when you were not. Though he proved no better in the end. Gaius was just another man, with an all-consuming obsession. And so I ran, left the Empire behind, and came to Eorzea, where I built the ironworks. Yes, it was then that I first donned these goggles. Eorzea opened my eyes. It was home to so many manner of people, each with their own hopes and dreams. People worth saving, and so I fought beside them. I wanted to prove that my knowledge could serve a nobler purpose. I wanted to prove that there was another way. And it all began that day when I found my new home. I had forgotten how wonderful it was. The wind in your hair, the endless sky. That light, it was you, wasn't it? It's surprising how few people know this, but all pure blood guardians have a third eye. Perhaps mine helped me recognize you, or perhaps it was just a lucky guess. The Enterprise was made for this, to carry Eorzea's protectors into battle. I am proud to be able to call her my own. Sid? What exactly do you remember? Alphinod, my boy. Sorry to have been such a burden. My name, my people, and my purpose. Everything. Come, it would be rude to keep Garuda waiting.
That was a nice cutscene. Alright, let's talk to Alphanode. All our efforts, all our travels, all of this, all of it was for this. Make ready, Violet, for this is, for the end is nigh, be it hers or our own. Okay. Hopefully this don't take too long. I'll check back in when we're ready to go into the Howling Eye. Okay, we're ready to go in. Here we go. dares in intrude upon my sanctuary. Your insolence shall not go unpunished, landwalkers. Twelve preserve? She's she's huge. As I live and breathe. Over there, look. Marja and Elkwald's prisoners? But why would the Ixel bring them here? <laughs> Therefore come, you heaver. Foolish mortals. Gruda, we come to put an end to your reign of terror. F hear you this blasphemy. My children, these land workers will bring me low. You who bound to claw upon the earth should revere me, for I am wind. Did you... Did we not take to the skies and ship slip your defences? We are bound by nothing, Garuda. You think your play... I think your playthings give you strength? They will not help you here, Lightwalker. This is my realm. There none can challenge your my supremacy. Struggle, f struggle for you may. I shall take stake the roots with your blood and festoon on the canopy of your entrails. Slay the unfeathered ones, we shall, as an offering to Gruda, they will serve. Leave the exile to us, Violet. We will keep them distracted while you deal with her. Do not fail, Violet. Remember, you fight for the Scions for Avorzia. Pressure! This worm will die by mine own hand. Come then, I shall grant you that which you seek.
Let's go. more so far go for these lit these feathers One more here. Died. No clue what happened there. Come on guys, you can do it. In the house? 
This is my realm. You have no hope here. None. None. Did you truly believe you could defy a god, Landwalkers? My power is limitless, my children my children legion. And they are rendering into me the wrath of wrathful crystals. The gift sustains me, their faith empowers me. None save my children will escape the reckoning, mortals, and those who would use my crystals to waken the rest shall realize the folly of their faith. Then all shall worship none but me the one true god of course worship as long as the ix will keep praying she will never fail then let's stop them No harm will come to you, my children. This is only the beginning, Landwalkers. All who oppose me shall suffer for their defiance. Soon the worms of the forest will, shall receive my judgment. The desert vermin need next. The wall of stone will not shield them from the tempest. And then I'll take revengeance on the sea lice, their wooden bolt. Boats cannot outrun the wind. Tremble, mortals, for I shall revisit you in all in time, and all shall be mine, all mine. You, Landwalker, you dare to raise your hand against me? You should be the first to pay for your sins, not with your death, but with your life. You will serve me, Landwalker, to your last breath. No, no, I claimed you. You should be mine. Nice try. Final crystal. What are you? What have you done to me? No mortal should possess such power. This, this is impossible. Why do you not tremble at my might? Why do you not beg for mercy? Why do you not die? We've done it! Ah! 
Impossible it is! Kill you all! Is that all? Oh, Lady of the Vortex. Oh, mighty Garuda. Of all primals, the most terrible, I say again, is that all? Gaius. Ah, uh, Sid, my boy. You look well. For one who has forsaken kin and country. I wonder what else you will forsake before the day is done. What? What exactly did you hope to accomplish here this day? I... Well, I shall accomplish far more. Seven hells, does she still mean to fight? Our Lord of the Inferno, Almighty Ypres, grant us succor in our hour of need. Save us, Titan, Lord of Crags! Ah, it hurts us so! The pain! The pain! What is she? Twelve preserve. She cannot mean to. No. No, this is all wrong. Stop gawping, boy. We must run. Surrender yourselves unto me. I would feast upon your ether. None shall stand against the wind. to the glory of the Empire! You who will suffer, Garuda. Ancient Alec had ways of dealing with your kind. Now, look on their ultimate weapon, Icon, and despair. Ni 
magnificent. It exceeds all expectation. With each primal it consumes, it grows more powerful. A marvel, is it not? Such is the fate of those who oppose the Empire. There will be no warriors of light to save you this time. If your leaders are as wise as they are reported, they will surrender. Your skills are impressive, but they will not be enough. Twelve, have mercy. What chance have we against such an ungodly creation? And who was that armored devil? That was Gaius Van Balsar, Legatus of the 14th Imperial Legion, and Supreme Commander of the Garlean Invasion Force in Eorzea. Of course, the Black Wolf. How could I not realize? Grandfather mentions him in his journal. I was never so naive as to think the man would abandon his ambitions. But these developments are beyond my worst expectations. What have you been doing these past five years? How could something of this magnitude have escaped the Alliance's attention? We heard no whispers, saw no signs. In the wake of the Calamity, the Empire seized land and built outposts. But that was the extent of their aggression. Damn it, guys. Where in the Seven Hells did you find that thing? It has been a day of unexpected developments. But the fact remains, Garuda is no longer a threat. While I take no comfort in the manner of her downfall, it does mean that we may safely put the matter of the Primals to one side. For the time being, at least. Which just leaves the matter of Gaius's new toy. Indeed. That weapon poses the greatest threat to Eorzea. It must be destroyed. But first, we must needs find out all we can. Let us make for Vesper Bay. We shall rebuild the Scions. All is not yet lost, my friend. For we bear the light, and shall surely lead our people from the darkness. Let's talk to Afnud. Well, that was an experience I would rather not have again. Something has been troubling me, Violet. Surely before the Black Wolf s took center stage, when Gruda attempted to claim you as your own, I could have sworn I saw... Ah, but I'm sure it was mistaken. In times of great stress, the evidence of the eye is adapted to the misled read by even the most enduring luring mind forget i mentioned it return to this returning to the subject of earlier discussion we may consider matter of the primal enclosed until further notice no beast tribe will dare summon their gods no no so long as the weapon exists truly a more effective determinant i would i could not imagine i almost seems to shame to plot in destruction Okay. Uh, 
Alright guys, we're going to end the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And with that, bye guys.